COVID-19 is believed to spread directly from person to person and indirectly through touch. Once it enters the body, what actually happens? The virus enters the body through the eyes, nose, and or mouth. Once inside, the virus begins to attack, taking two to 14 days for symptoms to appear, with a median period of five days. Inside the body, the virus first travels through the upper respiratory tract. It goes to the back of the nasal passages and to the mucous membranes in the back of the throat. That's the place where symptoms such as dry cough, fever, and shortness of breath, and in some cases, sore throat, headache, and fatigue may start. Mild at first, but in some cases, they gradually get worse. Throughout, the virus penetrates the cells, replicates and kills the host cells. Some people who become infected are asymptomatic. They don't feel anything at all. If the case becomes more severe and the body can't fight the virus, the virus will trek down the windpipe and enter the lower respiratory tract. The major target, the lungs. There, it can cause more respiratory problems such as bronchitis and pneumonia. A severe form of pneumonia typically involves shortness of breath combined with a persistent cough. The lungs' air sacs become inflamed and fill up with fluid or pus, making it hard for the oxygen you breathe in to get to your bloodstream. In a small number of severe cases, acute respiratory distress syndrome can develop when oxygen can't get to the red bed blood cells and to the rest of the body. It may require a patient to be placed on a ventilator to supply oxygen. If too much of the lung is damaged and not enough oxygen gets to the rest of the body, it could lead to organ failure and possibly death. But it is important to note that the outcome is rare for the majority of patients infected with coronavirus. It's hard to differentiate the differences between men and women right now because like, you know, a lot of people say and a lot of specialists say there just isn't enough data to say definitively why more men than women. I mean, there have been previous studies that have shown that women just have overall better health. If you are preconditionally healthier, than somebody else. You know, if you're healthier before the virus, you're gonna recover better than somebody else who isn't as healthy. But in China specifically, the reports had shown that most of the men were smoking and most women weren't, but it wasn't statistically significant to have a, a specific outcome. You know, when it comes to your uh, sense of smell and taste, with other respiratory illnesses like the common cold, it's usually a buildup of mucus that causes that loss of smell. But with the coronavirus, that's not the case at all because the coronavirus doesn't have a buildup of mucus. What happens is, is the virus starts, first it enters through your upper respiratory tract, so like your nose and your mouth, and it starts attacking that. So it attacks the cells that help you smell, and then your taste is associated with that. So that's why you usually have a temporary loss of both. When the virus gets into your lower respiratory tract, it's especially dangerous because inflammation. When antibodies are being sent over to fight off the virus, it causes inflammation, and that inflammation can sort of block the airways in your um, lungs. They're air sacs. And blocking that is really dangerous because then it's hard to put oxygen into the blood, to pump that oxygen into the blood, and it's hard for that oxygen to get into other organs in the body, specifically the heart, the brain, other stuff like that. And that's when people come up with acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS. 